this is the start of a series of videos to get you out fishing on your own. We're gonna start nice and simply with whip fishing. So what is whip fishing? You have a whip, a telescopic whip that pulls out. The ones we're using today are four meters. On the end of that, you tie some line. On the line, you have a float, you have some shot, and you have a hook. On the hook, you put some bait. We try and catch a fish. It's kind of as simple as that. You don't even need to learn how to tie a knot for this video. Now, when you want to start going out fishing on your own, you're obviously going to need some equipment. It can be a little bit confusing to know what type of equipment you need for what type of fishing. So we've made it easy for you. We've teamed up with our friends Angling Direct. They have made us some AD Get Fishing starter kits. On each video we produce, there will be a link in the description and you can click on that link and it will take you to the exact stuff we're using in the videos. Today we're going to be using the whip fishing kit. This kit only costs $14.99 and has everything that you need to get you started in whip fishing. You get a four meter telescopic whip, you get a disgorger which we're going to go over how to use in a minute, you get a bait box, most importantly you get 14 ready-made rigs yes 14 all for 14.99 it's a bargain it's literally as cheap as chips don't forget if you're fishing in fresh water in england or wales you will need a rod fishing license you can purchase one of these from gov.uk there's a link in the description it's very easy it only takes a couple of minutes it's 30 pounds for a full paying adult um it's you have a 10 pound discount if you're an oap or have a disability if you're between the age of 13 and 16 you do need to get a rod fishing license but it is free in this series of videos we're going to be using angling trust qualified coaches to help demonstrate how to set up the equipment and how to use it today we've got dean asplin to start with let's find out what rig that we actually need there's 14 different rigs they're all different sizes all different hook sizes to start with to keep it simple we want a four meter rig with a four meter width. So you've got to match the length of the rig to the length of the whip. You can see all this little information uh, is on each rig. The next thing we're gonna look at is hook sizes. Now, hook sizes, let's, let's keep it nice and basic. A size one hook is a massive hook. A size 20 hook is a small hook. Well, that's how it works nice and simple so we're going to be using a size 16 hook today a size 16 hook is great for using one maggot or two maggots it's going to be fine for what we're fishing for today sort of 15 centimeter fish uh, probably roach and perch today we're going to go more into individual species of fish further in the series of videos really what we're doing today is just to get you started so what we do is there will be a loop on the end of the rig you put that loop through the eye of the whip then you put the rig through the loop it really is that simple now that rig is connected to the whip unravel the rig they all come ready on rig winders and now you will see there's a float there's some shots and there's a hook it's all connected you're already ready to fish it was as easy as that next up we need some bait maggots is probably the best all-round bait you can possibly get today we've got mixed maggots you can see there's some red ones uh, and there's some white ones now how to hook a maggot onto the hook on the maggots you will see there's a blunt end and there's a sharp end you want to put the hook through the tip of the blunt end. As you can see, it just nips the top there. The maggot is wriggling around nicely. If you put the hook straight through the middle of the maggot, it's gonna pop, it's gonna explode, it's not gonna wriggle, 
that's not what we want we want it nice and wriggly so the fish can see it and they're going to come and eat that now when you're casting out with a whip all you've got to do is just swing it out underhand you do not need to be overhead casting or anything like that very gentle movement just swing it out now we've got to watch that flow when that flow goes under that means a fish is taking the bait so then we have to strike striking is when the float goes under you've just got to pull it like that and it just sets the hook next up how do you get the fish in you will need a landing net we're going to use a landing net to land all of the fish today no matter what their size now a landing net does not come with the whip fishing pack we know that some of you might already have a landing net and because we've tried to keep the prices as low as possible we wanted to have the landing net separate so we have a course landing net kit there's a link in the description i think it's 13.99 at the time of filming as you can see when dean catches a fish here he slowly pulls the fish in puts the net out scoops it up and brings it in this makes it nice and safe for the fish fish safety is massively important in fishing we want to catch the fish we want to unhook it nice and quickly take a picture and return the fish we're going to return the fish in the landing net as well so there is no harm of come to the fish in any way they get off about their day uh, and then we can come and catch them another day most of the time when you get a fish you can just pull the hook out nice and easily we're using barbless hooks today so that the hooks just pop straight out sometimes the fish before you strike is, is taking the maggot right down and you won't be able to get your fingers into the fish's mouth so then we need a disgorger this comes with the whip fishing pack that we're using today dean here is going to show you how to use the disgorger it's extremely simple there's a little tiny gap in the disgorger you put it through the line twist it once push the disgorger down and it magically takes the hook out of the fish now we hope you've got a bit of an idea of how to set up the equipment what equipment you need how to catch a fish if we've missed anything or you're struggling with anything just comment in the comment section of this videos and i will personally get on there and answer as many questions as i can now i've got some good news courtesy of angling direct we are going to be giving the whip kit we've been using today we're going to give it away now you can comment on facebook instagram or youtube wherever this video is uploaded just put in the comment section of why you want to get into fishing or why you're getting back into fishing the closing date will be in the description we've got other stuff to give away this is a book by alan sefton uh, it's called get fishing this is a fantastic introduction into fishing it's got everything you need to know about every different type of fishing uh, it's got how to identify species what bait to use it's got everything you need to know we're going to give 10 of these away as well all you've got to do enter in exactly the same way just comment and why you want to get back into fishing or why you're getting into fishing comment on the video if you don't win the whip pack we will send 10 of these books out don't forget if you want to find out more about the get fishing campaign head over to our website there's a link in the description put your postcode in and you can find an event that's happening near you you can also find about where to find an angling trust licensed coach there's all sorts of information there for you come and check us out follow us on facebook instagram youtube twitter all the links are in the description we've got more videos coming very soon next up we're going to be going float fishing we're going to introduce a reel so hopefully we can catch some slightly bigger fish thanks for watching gang don't forget to subscribe